afternoon everyone and welcome back to moms who made it youtube channel i am your host nicole green founder of motivating young moms and i want to welcome you guys to our first episode of 2020 we are here at ryan sky hair extensions and beauty supply with erica griffin who's also the owner of diamond dow hair studio we are here to catch up with her and catch you up on some of the things that she has cooking good afternoon everyone and happy sunday so a little over a year ago we sat down and spoke and talked with miss erica griffin who is the owner um, of diamond dial hair studio and now owner of ryan sky Erica, would you like to share with everyone what Ryan Sky is and what you guys do here? Yeah, so Ryan Sky is a combination of a beauty supply store and a hair salon. Um, so we have a very diverse multicultural selection of supplies and hair extensions. And then we also install and do, you know, regular natural hair care in the salon area. Thank you for sharing that. So I wanted to do a recap with her, you know, on, um, you know, how a little bit about like how she started Diamond Dow Hair Studio, but also um, inform you guys on her new business venture and what made her even, you know, take another leap into another business and a whole nother area, zip code and everything. Um, and then within this new venture, she's also launching other various um, products within this business. And she also, you know, has a few things coming up this year that I can't wait for her to share um, what those things are. So stay tuned. Um, so Erica, just a little bit of a recap on, you know, Diamond Dow Hair Studio, um, how long it's been around and, you know, what kind of like encouraged you or motivated you to start your own hair salon in the first place? Um, so Diamond Doll Hair Studio is like my first baby. Um, I had been doing hair for maybe about five years before opening up Diamond Doll Hair Studio. And um, what made me go ahead and do my own thing was I just had like my own idea of how a hair salon um, should be run and all of those type of, types of things that I wanted to do that you just can't do in someone else's salon. So um, Diamond Dial Hair Studio has been around 10 years this year. It was opened in 2010 um, and it's still around thanks to my now business partner, uh, former stylist Monique, um, who is running that location while I was able to come up and do what I needed to do at Ryan Sky. Um, it's just my, my first baby. Mm -hmm. So and it was the stepping stone and it allowed me to be able to build and create something new. So it was very, very purpose filled. Right, <laughs> yeah. awesome. I'm glad yeah. that you, you know, we spoke a little bit before, um, mm -hmm. you know, we got on line. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. I'm glad that she still kept her first business. I know that some business owners, they, you know, venture off into something else mm -hmm. and kind of like get rid of the initial business that they started, yeah. but I'm yeah. glad that you still kept the initial one and then decided to expand upon that. And I know that hasn't been like an easy transition, no, yeah. um, but you've been making it seem like it's a flawless transition <laughs> in doing so. Um, and I know that it's a lot of hard work yeah, that, you yeah. know, the people we don't see, yeah. um, you know, online, through yeah. social media and whatnot. Yeah. So can you just share with us you know, um, first of all, what made you even decide to open Ryan Sky? And you know how how it's been. You know, what, yeah. if this is the first year. This is your first, first anniversary. Completed year, yeah. So I just want to say first that I wanted to keep Diamond Doll Hair Studio around because it was so useful to me that I know it's going to create and continue to create opportunities for anyone else that steps foot in that salon. It's been a blessing. So, and it's continuing to be a blessing. So I, I hope that it stays around long after I'm no longer associated with it. Um, 
So I'm grateful that it was the stepping stone to me being able to open Ryan Sky. I'm the kind of person that I just need to be continuously growing or I feel right. stuck. Like I have to be able to continue to grow and reach new levels and new heights. <clears throat> and it's not necessarily about money. It's more so about just my passion for business, entrepreneurship, um, for style and hair. I love what I do, but I also love business. Mm -hmm. Like I love business. Every time I walk into any business, I'm always like, I go right to the operation of the business. Yeah. And like, I'm just so intrigued by that. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, being able to grow your business is just, it's like, a, um, it's a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. like, I really like to see something start and then grow from there. But um, for Ryan Sky, I just wanted, I wanted a new, new environment, which um, is why I felt, felt like I needed to come out of Norristown. Um, I was born and raised in Norristown. That's where all my clientele was, so that was scary. Um, leaving the place I built right. my clientele and yeah. then going into it absolutely and not knowing whether people would right. follow or what would happen but faith came in and you know when you're someone of faith you either are going to take that leap mm -hmm. or you're not so um, I was willing to take the leap and I really just wanted to um, you know grow and do something new and just you know I didn't know what was on the other side but I knew that growth was on the other side I yeah. wanted to grow and I knew that I had reached my plateau in our sound like I, there was no more for me there so I had to go on to do new things mm -hmm. so um, Phoenix was something up this area that I'm already familiar with um, living in this area for the last 10 years, I've already, you know, been okay. downtown. Right. I saw how they were growing. I liked what I saw. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I want to be a part of this. So um, I've been looking for years. It just was never the right time. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that this space was open. And, you know, I was like, okay, it looks like something that might work. Yeah. It was already divided. It looked like what I needed. So um, I was able to come in and speak with the owner and I prayed about it and did what mm -hmm. I had to do, you know, on my end. And, you know, it's a funny story because I saw it in like February or March, somewhere mm -hmm. around then, but I didn't actually sign the lease till October. Oh, um, wow. I would happen to be riding around again. I wasn't yeah. really prepared to sign a lease when I was riding around looking, but I knew I wanted group. I right. wanted something new. Like I'm going to start looking just you know, so just it was look available at all that time. It was available all that time. <laughs> I broke by. I saw that somebody was in here doing work. I stopped. I got out, came in, happened to be the owner. So he and I talked. Wow. Yeah. And I was telling him what I was interested in doing. And he was like, you know, well, it sounds like a great idea. I love, you know, love what you're trying to do. I was like, I'm not ready yet. You know, it'll probably be around October. And, you know, if it's available, fine. Mm -hmm. If not, fine. Because at that time, I'm like, well, hopefully it's not available. Because I'm scared. I really don't. <laughs> you know, but I'm like, if it's available, then, you know, I'm going to take the leap. And he reached back out to me in about September. And he was like, it's still available. I was like, okay, well, I need oh, like wow. one more month. I was like, if it's still there, then fine. And I was literally riding past here on mm -hmm. my way home, praying in front of this uh, place. Like, my kids, my oh, girls wow. will tell you, like, we prayed in front of this place. And I was like, if it's meant to be God, fine. Yeah. If not, I'll accept that too. Like, fine. And October came around and he reached back out again. He was like, it's still open if you if you want it. I really and he had people that came to him in between. And he said he really? just didn't either believe in the idea or mm -hmm. and he was like, I really like what you're trying to do. I think you'll do well around here. And he encouraged me in that way. So he was a blessing as well. That's awesome. So yeah. And then that's how that worked out. So in October we all met. And you know, we sat down and signed the lease. I was like, all right, well, now we gotta are. make it work. Yeah. Here we are sitting in yeah. my <laughs> Right. I think that is so awesome. You said mm -hmm. you prayed outside. And we prayed right out front, yeah. We sat, um, we stood outside looking in the window before I had the key. I was like, we need to pray and make sure this is what God wants mm -hmm. because it's not always about what we want, it's mm -hmm. His will for our life, you know? Yeah. So. I, you know, I was like, well, if it's meant, then fine. There was times where I was trying to cop out, where I was like, I hope it's going to work I bet, out. I bet, because it was taking you out of your comfort zone. Very time. much so, yeah. So, because I was comfortable down there. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I can continue to do this. And, you know, but no, God was like, uh, -uh. like, you're, you'll, you won't be happy here. You, you know what you want. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Mm -hmm. But I think it's so beautiful, like, mm -hmm. how you've um, 
incorporated your girls into your business. Absolutely. So they are in it and they see what right. you're doing on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Um. So I've been here a couple times. <laughs> and I see, you know, I see the little one here, mm -hmm. and I see Jada. Jada's her oldest one. Mm -hmm. And um. So like, how do they feel about you know watching you do this? And like, how do you even? Um, I won't even say balance it all, yeah. but how do you manage yeah. being a, a business owner of two yeah. entities and then you have two daughters yeah. that are like literally teenager, toddler. Right. Type. Totally different stages. <laughs> totally different places in life right now. Um, you know, thankful again, I'm so thankful for having someone like Monique around who I knew I could trust mm -hmm. with my baby because that was a huge decision. Right. Like that was really a hard decision to make because I had to feel like, you know, I could really, really trust her mm -hmm. to continue to keep the reputation intact, um, keep the business intact and, you know, continue to allow it to grow and, and be relevant, you yeah. know? And she's done that. She's exceeded my expectations. And so I'm thankful, you know, that she's there and I don't even have to worry about that about hair seal. So that's not even a thought. Mm -hmm. I don't worry about it. I don't really bother her too much. You know, we talk when we need to, right. or, you know, every now and again, but cause she has her business ventures going on now. Um, but we, that I don't even really have to think about diamond doll. So that's been a blessing. Um, so Ryan sky is my main focus now. So I can really focus on, you know, it's growth and, um, honestly, and this is how I know, you know, and it's just confirmation from God that this was the right decision is that I'm, I mean, from day one, like from day one, mind you, I was at Diamond Doll Hair Studio for eight years. It was in its eighth year when I got here from day one, literally opportunities were walking in the door. Like I was meeting people that would have never, wow. That would have never, I would have, they town. would have never found me there. <laughs> You know, just simply different demographics. Yeah. You know, that stuff does play a role. Mm -hmm. So I literally had opportunities just walking in the door to meet people who can take me to the next level right. that I would have never met had I stayed where I was. Amazing. So I would have stayed at the same place, yeah. you know, and it just, I didn't have the opportunities that I've had here. Mm -hmm. And I've had more opportunities walking this door in one year than I did in eight years down Diamond Dow. Any opportunity that I had there, I had to literally create for myself. You know what I mean? Like they literally have walked in the door since I've been here. And it's like one after another. So yeah. it's just nothing but God confirming. Like I told you, you just have to be ready and willing, you know, <laughs> to, not... you know, move in different circles. Yeah. That's okay. You know, yeah. and be comfortable moving in different circles. Cause a lot of people aren't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's been a blessing. I just um, came back from a retreat actually this morning, mm -hmm. um, over the past weekend or over this weekend. And one of the conversations that we had, you know, mm -hmm. it was a retreat of women. Um, it was like eight of us and mm -hmm. we are all business owners and whatnot. And we were just talking about like how fear can kind of prevent you mm -hmm. from growing. Right, right. And it's like we, one thing we need, we have to overcome that fear mm -hmm. and um, being uncomfortable because if we want to grow, if it's in our heart to grow, right? Like we have to get uncomfortable. We do, yeah. We have um, to be okay with being uncomfortable, and everything is not going to be. And that's the false, you know, picture that's painted on social media is that everything is smooth sailing, yeah, and that everything is just, you know, everything is sunshine, and it's not. You're going to have days where it rains, and you yeah. are going to have days where your bank account is at zero dollars, mm -hmm. because every dollar is invested back into that business. You know, you don't have, it, it's not going to be, you know, easy street. So we have to also be comfortable in that, because we're so used to seeing it painted as if it's like this perfect, right. and it's we not. You see the, the Instagram photos yes. of the, yes. you know, the prettiness of it. Yes, not and there's the an ugly side. Late night hour. Yeah. The early morning. Right, right. There's a there's a <laughs> All very the work that you have to do. Yes. Taxes. <laughs> like there is a demanding side to an yeah. entrepreneurship. Like a very demanding side to building a brand that you want to be successful and continue to grow. Right. And sustain yeah. for a and long sustain. time. And sustain. Yes. It, there's a demanding side to it. And it's gonna take years. It takes time. You know? 
And that's the other thing about like social media. It can kind of like rush you. Looks like it's happening overnight yeah. for everybody. And <laughs> that's not the case. So what I want to talk about now is mm -hmm. the name. Where did Ryan Sky come from? So um, Ryan is Jada's middle name and um, Sky is my youngest daughter's middle name. So I wanted, I wanted a name that really had meaning behind it because I do believe in this brand and I tell Jada all the time, I'm like, this could be the groundwork for a multi-million dollar yeah. business. And I always tell her, treat it as such, you know, because you don't know where this will be 10, 20 years from right. now. So you gotta treat it as if it's all already that, you know, type of business. But Ryan Sky is just like, um, you know, the legacy is part of, you know. Awesome. I wanted yeah. to create that for them to have. Cause that's their middle names. And I told you that it's like just the other day, I said your middle name will never change. Your last name may change, but that's your true. middle name will never yeah. change. So Ryan the Sky will always be a part of, um, you know, you guys as long as y'all are here. I know that, um, You've been cooking up some things. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and what we have here is a couple packets of those things. Would you like to share with us? What's, yeah. So, what's going on? <laughs> when I got here, I was like, okay, so this is a totally new thing for me retail. Um, you know, I was always in the service industry. So, right. being a black um, woman, a black hairstylist, is very different from being a black beauty supply store owner and that black women have to come to or for the most part other black women to do their hair because right. we aren't pretty much the only yeah. ones that know how to do it when it comes to retail we can go to anybody yeah so you have to create diversity and what i wanted to do was just give people options for the most part at diamond doll i only carried high-end brazilian hair which is mm -hmm. a little bit expensive but you get what you pay for it's kind of you know the quality right. so you're getting you're paying for the quality um now that i have a beauty supply store i ran into an issue which is very funny i there are two very popular pack hair brands, Milky Way and Outre. Mm -hmm. I reached out to both, of course, because I have a beauty supply now, to have their um, brands in the store because they're very popular and yeah. you know in high demand. I ran into a few issues with bringing their brands into the store. So after having to kind of go back and forth with these companies, I decided I will scratch it off and do my own. And then I also had, like I said, the opportunities walking in the door. I had someone with, um, a great business mind, just out off the street, yeah. happened to be walking by, saw Ryan Sky, and it was a 30-year-old white man, walked in the door and said, oh, I saw Ryan Sky, and I thought high-end beauty yeah. supply. He yeah. came in, gave me some great advice about what to add to mm -hmm. the store. And I mean, I sat and talked to him for 30 minutes off the streets, and I mean, he a just gave a total, stranger. a total stranger. He was getting his taxes done down the street oh and gave goodness. me some great advice about um, things that I should add and just like you see in a grocery store you might see giant brand right go for bread right. you'll see Ryan Sky um, Yaki hair and Ryan Sky so he gave me some great advice and I just took it and ran with it so I'll also be adding not only Yaki texture but Remy texture and a whole host of other things that'll probably take years to get in but it will be here when it's all so this is this is like a major Mm. Peace to your business because yeah. like there's so many people out there just sh like selling hair mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this is like your especially beauty supplies <clears throat> right but this is like your own branded yes hair yes yes yeah wow so we'll have our in an entire line like I want every texture I want to be able to service anybody that walks in the door so you know remy is a different texture from yaki is a different texture from brazilian mm -hmm. and then we want curly so we'll be adding every we want a well-rounded um inventory when it comes to hair extensions right. because this is going to be like the bread and butter of our Absolutely. business so oh, we yeah. want a well-rounded so people inventory. can be walking in like oh what, oh, what hair are you wearing i'm wearing ryan sky and you can only get ryan sky <laughs> and ryan sky i know your family and yeah. your girls are just like well kai probably doesn't really know the understand the concept <laughs> yeah. at the moment mm -hmm. but i know jada like her yeah just 
seeing from younger, oh, yeah, from in the house, from you doing the hair in your mm-hmm. apartment, mm-hmm. like all these steps, like these major steps yeah. you've been making. Yeah. Um. So this year, as like you said, is your 10 year anniversary for Diamond Dial mm-hmm. Hair Studio. And mm-hmm. then we, you just uh, celebrated one year for Ryan and Scott. Right. So are you planning to do anything special? <laughs> So yes, and I'm super excited and I'm sure it's going to be a very emotion filled night because um, Diamond Out Hair Studio has truly been a labor of love. And um, so the 10 year anniversary is July 27th, 2020. Um, we will be doing a celebration on July 25th, 2020. So yeah, I'm super excited about celebrating the 10 year anniversary. Uh, yeah, yes. I will definitely be in the building. Please. Yes, because I've been going to you. Actually, I think I brought Deja to get Probably her hair done. Diamond well, yeah, way yeah. before then. Mm-hmm. Um, Deja, she's been going to you uh, since you were in the apartment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I started coming to you when you were at, uh, I think it was like Can Kendu. Do. Can do. <laughs> Can do. Can do. Can do. So it's been a long, yeah. a long yeah. ride. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited and yeah. happy for you. Yeah. Um, so. Share with us how people can get in contact with you or come to either Diamond Dow or even, you know, come to Ryan Scott and check you out. Um, So if you guys are in the Norristown area or Philadelphia area, Plymouth Mean, King of Prussia, wherever, you can either go to Diamond Dow Hair Studio and she now has booking online. I don't have the website. I don't know it on hand, but the phone number to Diamond Dow Hair Studio is 484 744-4063 744-4063 so you can contact Monique for an appointment there and then also the Instagram for Diamond Dial Hair Studio is diamond underscore dial underscore hair underscore studio um, and then Ryan Sky, I can be reached at 610-635-6936 for an appointment and uh, we also have a style seat um, so we can also be booked online for certain services and it's www.styleseats.com backslash Ryan Sky Hair. <laughs> and um, what are your social media handles? So Ryan Sky is Ryan, I think it's Ryan Sky dot hair and beauty um, on Instagram and then Facebook.com backslash Ryan Sky Hair. Well, thank you, Erica. You're for, very um, welcome. Kicking off 2020, a new year, a new decade yeah. for um, NYM and Moms Who Made It. So, um, guys, I'm going to ask you three times. <laughs> share, share, share this episode yeah. with any young mothers that you might know that even have an interest yeah. um, in you know, starting a business in this industry, working in this industry. They will definitely get some major inspiration you know, from Erica. She's grown so much over the years, and she is just, I believe, just getting started. Um, And, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for joining us, and see you soon.